In this video, we're going to discuss about the integration of trigonometric functions. So, meron ako ditong sampung formulas para sa integration of trigonometric functions. So, number 1 to 6, kung natatandaan nyo yung 6 formulas para sa differentiation of, trig uh, of trigonometric functions, so, nagkabaliktad lang yung formula nila. Okay? So, integral ng cosine u, that will be sine u plus c, palagi may plus c, Integral of sine u, that is negative cosine u. Integral of second u tan u, that is second u. Okay, kung matatandaan nyo, derivative ng second u ay second u tan u, no? Okay, then integral ng cosecant u, cotangent u, that is negative cosecant u. Okay, then integral of square of second u, that is tan u. Then integral of square of cosecant u, that is cotangent u plus c. Then integral of tan u. It's either ln second u or kaya negative ln cosine u. Then integral of cotangent u, it's either ln sine u or negative ln cosine u. Integral ng second u, it's either ln second u plus tan u. Then for integral of cosecant u, that is negative ln cosecant u plus cotangent u. Okay? So dito, sa number 7 and 8, since dalawa yung possible answer, so ang palagi na lang nating gamitin ay yung positive ln second u, tsaka yung ln sin u. Okay? Unless, merong masisimplify kapag ginamit natin to. Pero kung wala naman, ito na lang yung palagi nating gamitin. Okay? So, proceed tayo sa example. Okay, so let's try number 1. Find the integral of sin 4x dx. Okay, so una, maglalet muna ulit tayo ng u. So, ano yung u? Etong 4x and then, what will be the du? So, integral uh, derivative ng 4x, that is 4dx. So, divide natin both sides by 4 para makancel. So, magiging du over 4 equals dx. So, salpak na natin dito. Okay? So, this will be equal to integral of sine. Ano yung 4x? Ayan yung u. Then, ano yung dx? That is du over 4. Okay? So, labas natin yung 4 sa labas. That will be 1 fourth integral ng sin u du. Okay? And what is the integral of sin u du? That will be 1 fourth. So, sa sin u, di ba, magiging negative cosine u. Okay? So, negative cosine u. Plus c. So, simplify natin, negative 1 fourth cosine, ano yung u? That is 4x. So, negative 1 fourth cosine 4x plus c. For number 2, let's find the integral of cosine 1 minus 2x dx. So, alin yung u natin? 1 minus 2x. Then, yung du will be derivative ng 1, 0. Derivative ng negative 2x, that is negative 2. Then, dx. So, divide natin both sides by negative 2. This will be negative du over 2 equals dx. Okay, so, salpak na natin dito. So, this will be integral of cosine, ito yung u, yung 1 minus 2x, then dx natin, negative du over 2. Labas natin yung negative 1 half. So, this will be negative 1 half integral of cosine u du. So, ano yung integral ng cosine u du? That will be positive sine u, no? So, negative 1 half sine u plus c. So, ano, ano ulit yung u? This will be... 1 half sine 1 minus 2x plus c. For number 3, let's try integral of e raised to x sine quantity e raised to x plus 1 dx. So, ito mukha lang siyang mahirap pero kung isosolve natin, so ilet natin na yung u ay e raised to x plus 1. So, yung du niya magiging derivative ng e raised to x, that will be e raised to x, derivative ng x, that is 1. Then, derivative ng 1, 0. So, e raised to x na lang yung matitira. Okay? Then, okay na tayo. Meron ng e raised to x dx na dito. So, pwede na natin kagad i-substitute. So, this will be integral of sine. Ano yung e raised to x plus 1? That is u. Then, ano yung du natin? e raised to x dx. Ito yun, e raised to x dx. So, du. Okay? 
So this will be what is the integral of sine u that is negative cosine u plus c. So balik natin yung u sa dati. So negative cosine a raised to x plus 1 plus c. For number 4, let's try integral of x squared second x cubed plus 1 tangent x cubed plus 1 dx. So dito pa lang, kitang kita natin na second u, tan u ang gagamitin natin. So ilalet natin yung u to be x cubed plus 1, then du will be derivative ng x cubed, that is 3x squared, derivative ng 1, 0, so 3x squared dx. So divide natin both sides by 3. So, this will be du over 3 equals, cancel yung 3, x squared dx. Paano ba natin nalalaman kung, pa, uh, kung ano yung i-divide? So, dito tayo tumitingin. So, second u, tan u, target natin. Ano yung natira? x squared dx. So, yun yung ititira natin. Kaya, dinivide natin yung 3 para matanggal yung 3 at mati, matira yung x squared dx. Okay? So, substitute na natin. So, this will be integral of second u the uh, second u tan u then x squared dx that is du over 3 labas na natin yung 3 so magiging 1 third integral ng second u tan u du and what is the integral of second u tan u that will be 1 third second u plus c balik natin sa dati 1 third second x cubed plus 1 plus c Now, let's try number 5, integral of dx over sine x cosine x. So, paano na to? Yung itsura niya ay hindi na kamuka doon sa mga formula. Kasi yung sine x cosine x nasa denominator. Okay? So, dito, gagamitin natin yung mga idea na nalalaman natin doon sa trig trigonometric identities. Okay? So, yung mga na ituro sa atin sa trigonometry. Okay? So, kung matatandaan natin, yung formula na sine 2a. So, this is equal to 2 sine a cosine a. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung sine a cosine a dito, pareho dito sa given natin. Kulang lang ng constant. Okay? So, what if lagyan natin ng constant 2? Okay? So, paano tayo maglalagay? Maglalagay tayo muna sa labas. 2 over 2. This is equal to 1. Then, integral of dx over sine x cosine x. Then, ilagay natin itong uh, denominator sa loob. So, magiging 2 integral of dx over 2 sine x cosine x. So, naging kamukha na siya. Okay? So, pwede natin siyang palitan ng sine 2a or sine 2x dito. Okay? So, magiging 2 integral of dx over sine 2x. So, kung mapapansin nyo, wala pa rin kasi nasa ilalim yung nasa ilalim yung sine Eh, yun dun sa formula natin, palaging nasa numerator. Okay, nasa taas. So, paano gagawin naman na natin? Gamit ulit tayo ng identity. So, kung matatandaan nyo, yung cosecant A, so this is equal to 1 over sine A, reciprocal. ba So, therefore, Yung 1 over, kung yung a natin ay 2x, yung 1 over sine 2x natin ay cosecant 2x. So, pwede nating palitan to ng cosecant 2x para hindi na siya nasa denominator. So, 2 integral of cosecant 2x dx. At eto, nasa formula na natin siya. Okay? So, ilalat lang natin na yung u, u ay equal sa 2x, ito. So, yung magiging du natin will be 2 dx. Okay? Then, divide natin both sides by 2. So, ah, hindi na pala kailangan kasi meron naman na tayong 2 sa labas. Ilagay lang natin to sa loob. Okay? So, ilagay natin sa loob. So, this will be integral of cosecant 2x to dx. So, magiging ano na siya? Integral of cosecant u tapos 2 dx. Ito na du. Okay? So, hindi na pala kailangan natin mag-divide. Then, integral ng cosecant u du mula dun sa formula. So, this will be negative ln cosecant u plus cotangent u plus c. So, balik lang natin sa dati. So, negative ln cosecant 2x plus
plus cotangent 2x plus c. For number 6, let's try integral of 1 plus sine 2x over cosine 2x. Okay? So, ito wala ulit, malayo ulit sa formula. So, gawa natin ng paraan. So, hindi pa laging trigonometric identity. So, pwede rin natin gamit yung idea ng algebra. So, katulad nyan, pwede natin i-distribute yan. So, we have integral of dx over cosine 2x. Okay, so gumamit rin tayo dito ng formula, no? Sa mga nauna natin sa basic integration. Okay, so since plus yan, pwede natin i-separate. Plus integral of sine 2x over cosine 2x dx. So dito, saka tayo gagamit ng trigonometric identity kasi nasa denominator, kung matatandaan nyo, yung second a, that is 1 over cosine a, dun sa trigonometric identity. So ibig sabihin, yung, kung yung a natin ay 2x, so yung 1 over cosine 2x, pwede natin palitan ng second 2x. So, this will be integral of second 2x dx. So, dito naman, kung matatandaan nyo, sine over cosine, that is tan. Diba? So, tan a, that is sine a over cosine a. So, palitan na lang natin to ng tangent. Tan 2x dx. Okay? So, nasa formula na to, second, u, second dx, tapos tan dx. So, pwede na tayong mag-proceed. Ilet muna natin na u. Since pareho naman silang 2x, isahan na lang. Pero kung magkaiba yan, magkakaroon tayo ng u sub 1, u sub 2. Okay? Pero isahan na natin yan. Let natin u be 2x. So, du natin will be 2 dx. Then, divide natin by 2. So, du over 2 will be dx. Okay? So, magiging integral of second u. Tapos, du over 2, okay, plus integral of tangent u, then yung dx, that is du over 2. Okay, so labas natin yung 2, so 1 half integral of second u du, plus 1 half integral of tan u du. So this will be 1 half, ano yung integral ng second u du? So this will be ln second u plus tan u then one half ano yung integral ng tan u that is ln second u plus c so balik natin sa dati so this will be one half ln second 2x plus tan 2x plus one half ln second 2x plus c Number 7, let's have integral of 1 plus second 3x squared, quantity squared dx. Okay, so hindi natin pwedeng ilet na u yung dito kasi wala tayong para dun sa labas. Okay, so ang gagawin na lang natin dito, i-expand. So magiging integral of, square mo yung una, 1 plus, sa algebra lang to yung pag-expand, Multiply natin yung 1 tapos second 3x times 2. So, this will be 2 second 3x. Then, square yung last term. That will be square of second 3x dx. So, yung idea na to, galing lang siya dun sa algebra. Okay? So, kapag nag-expand tayo ng square of binomial dun sa algebra. Okay? Now, so, i-distribute lang natin siya. So, this will be integral of, since 1 yan, dx lang yan. Plus integral of, okay, kahit ilabas lang natin yung 2. So, plus 2 integral of second 3x dx. Then, plus integral of square of second 3x dx. So, since pareho naman 3x yung magiging u nila, isahan na lang natin. So, ilet natin na u ay 3x. So, du will be derivative neto, so 3 dx. So, divide natin both sides by 3. So, du over 3 equals dx. So, cancel kasi to. Okay? So, this will be equal to integral of dx plus 
2 integral of second u, then ano yung dx? That is du over 3 plus integral of second, uh, square of second u, du over 3. Okay? So, this will be integral of dx plus 2 third, labas natin yung 3, integral of second u du plus 1 third integral of square of second u du. So, integrate na natin, ito ay x plus 2 third integral ng second, that is ln second u plus tan u. Then, plus 1 third, ano integral ng square of second, that is tangent, no? Tangent u plus c. Okay? So, this will be equal to x plus 2 third ln, balik natin yung u sa dati. So, second 3x plus tangent 3x plus 1 third tangent 3x plus c.